Imagine you're a news outlet famously branded as fake news, like BuzzFeed. Imagine that news outlet posts articles and videos with massive bias and spin, like BuzzFeed. Now imagine that outlet has several offshoots, like BuzzFeed, that make videos about social issues and want to get away from the parent outlet synonymous with fake news, like BuzzFeed. How would you do it? That's right, you'd change your name. And that's just what BuzzFeed Yellow did, now known as boldly but still employing the same outspoken weirdos and still posting the same shit. Let's see what they're driveling on about this time. I feel like I was doing an ad for Payless. Cut me a check, Payless. Cash me outside, how about that? <laughs> oh man, I hate the guy already. What have we got then? How to dress outside the binary. So this is gonna be a nice and whingy one then, isn't it? Oh, on a budget! Now you're talking drunken uncle's language! I'm a frugal master! Why use condoms when a plastic bag and some string will do the same job? It's this really interesting dynamic, right, of walking into a store that says women, men, and children. And I'm not a child, I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, so where do I go? Well, a fucking therapist would be a good start! Your issue here is genuinely down to signage, is it? Because you're dressed as a woman, mate, it's clear you went to the women's section. I felt like the women's section had a lot of pieces that were overprocessed. Too many ruffles for me, it, it just wasn't working out. I get that, the bit about the ruffles. No one likes ruffles, they're shit. I'm not rufflophobic or anything, I'm just saying. So what are you wearing now? A fuck ugly shirt and a waistcoat. Easily from the men's section. Actually, ooh, maybe not the shirt, because I guess you'd have to allow for boobage, wouldn't you? That'll piss someone off who's visibly trying to be different, wouldn't it? Forcing them to shop in a clothes section that actually applies to them. Poor little mite. Oh. $128 for a fucking shirt? Are you mad? Does it have Kevlar lining or something? Gives me superpowers? You've got to be fucking joking. $150, that's what? £120? You could get half an ounce of some bloody good weed and two large pizzas for that. What would that be in euros? Fucking 140 euros. In Amsterdam, that'll get you 2.8 prostitutes. Whose clothing budget is this? Tony fucking Starks? The first store we actually went to was Beacon's Closet. Ha! They went back in the closet! Fucking perfect! That one was really cool. It had great vibes. A lot of the clothes felt very um, catered to an edgier look. I found a couple pieces I really liked. You see? You're looking for women's clothing, Ian! Or are you Doreen? I can't imagine anyone picking the name Doreen, especially him. He'd go for something flamboyant, like Shanene. Anyway, how are these women's outfits making you look gender neutral or non-binary? Or is that what non-binary is now? Not the secret third gender, but a cross-dresser. Have they dropped that narrative now? I hope they've dropped that narrative now. How are you doing? I'm trying to find my size. Ah, fat bitch! Shouldn't be an issue in the men's section though, not really. Unless it's the boobage again, isn't it? Fucking fashion, we need men's shirts with room for women's tits. And patterns appealing to women. Just go to the fucking women's section, will you? Stop making it hard on yourself. Doreen didn't find as much. I'm gonna keep on looking. Oh, she's Doreen, so he's Ian. Her <laughs> fucking makeup and a dress, and he's like, My name's Ian, or Shantae. It's just trying to be shocking, isn't it? I'll be back. I think that it's a matter of um, being patient and keep your eyes open for um, things that attract you and go to them. Top tip that buy the things you like. Brilliant. It's so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what I can do with it, but I'll, I'm going to hold on to it. I, I think you should burn it. I found a vest that's going to bring me right back to. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So I'm knowing that I can't get shoes here because all the shoes are going to be too small for me. I love these though, but they're all going to be too small. Did you see that woman's reaction just then? Let's do that again. Let's have a look. Looking for shoes and what the fuck is that? She could have been looking the shelves up and down, but let's be fair. If you see that in a shoe shop, what's more likely to take your attention? One of the biggest issues that I face when I'm looking for heels or any sort of um, feminine shoe. Why the finger quotes, man? That is a feminine shoe. You're a cross-dresser. There's no real options, and the options that are there are kind of ugly. However, I actually really like going to Payless, which is a cheap option, they're very affordable prices. And that's tip number two. Payless is the shop for the fatter footed female. I hope you guys are writing this down. They go all the way up to 13, size 13, which is great for, you know, 
trans femmes or non-binary femmes who are looking for larger shoe sizes. Non-binary femme! Non-binary- How can you have- You took away the gender part with the non-binary and then you fucking added it again! Because there are fewer people with my size feet, the cute shoes are often, like, ready and available. There are plenty of people with your foot size, Shanene! Other men! And the aforementioned fatter-footed females! I have been waiting for my whole life to have a pair of heeled sneakers. So this is a huge moment. But it was actually really nice to see uh, Ian finding some shoes at Payless. What you gonna tell me in these? Hey, hey. Wow, I hate him. I hate him some up powerful. We're gonna hang in there though, guys. We can do this together, yeah? Deep breaths. What you gonna tell me in these? You ain't gonna tell me nothing. Uh, next, we went to a department store. I'm actually gonna start at the $40 and under. I'd start and fucking finish at the $40 or under, Doreen. These are pastel shirts and presumably have no room for boobage. 40 fucking dollars. I'll go to the clearance sections a lot before I look at full price items. Sometimes they have items that are just about to go out of season that I can save for the next season. That is actually a top tip applicable to us boring regular people too. What the fuck you're on about with the seasons though? I don't know. Like, do you keep your shirts in the freezer so they don't rot? I ain't got a clue. So I'm at Nordstrom Rack right now and I'm finding a lot more things here than the previous thrift store we were at. They actually have some of the sizes that would actually fit me. It was a little bit easier for me to find some pieces for myself. So I was able to find a button down, a tie actually. $13 for a fuck ugly tie? They saw you coming, didn't they, Doreen? Stitched you up like a fucking kipper, me old girl. She tie clip and some shoes for, I think, under $150. Oh, I don't know if I can handle this bit. It's bad enough she spent $150 on ugly clothes. Now I have to see it spread on her like the fucking tarpaulin they use to cover Wimbledon when it rains. I am wearing Fresh Prince of Bel-Air right now. You're wearing a colourful sack and a black t-shirt. If your aim was to look like a waste of $20, you fucking nailed it. Love the patterns here, love the colours in it. Not gonna lie, my girlfriend just might steal this vest, so... Well, if she's a good girlfriend, she'll steal it and then hide it from you. All right, so I got most of this outfit from Nordstrom Rack. I tied the whole outfit together by adding on a vest that I already had. Hold on, hold on, bring that shit back. That totals about $113 for the effect of looking like a little boy at a wedding. And the jeans, the only gender neutral clothing on you, you already owned. So that's $113 to dress like a dude, not non-binary and not gender neutral. Well done, Doreen. I'm feeling real collegiate right now, teacher-esque. I really enjoy wearing things well, not as much as you enjoy being filmed, obviously. Here's Ian's outfit consisting of a fucking sweater. That's not an outfit, that's a fucking sweater. That um, are colorful. I like it to be reflective of how I'm feeling and how I'm walking through the world. This is definitely not something I'm gonna wear in winter, but it's gonna be a fun kind of uh, summer, spring. I, I just, do you know what? Fuck it, Never mind. Kind of dress, and I really feel pretty confident and beautiful in it. Final thoughts? Has any fucking thought gone into this? It just looks like two young fuck-ups wanted to bank some FaceTime with BuzzFeed over a non-issue that they couldn't even fucking stick to. It's been quite a day. I love the additional perspective and it was nice to see you kind of be in your element. If that element was fire, I'd have had way more fun with this video. Um, I love that you liked a lot of color, you liked a lot of things that were different. You don't fucking say! The man is wearing a fucking dashiki and a pair of leggings! Going back to the, the men's section and yeah. sort of like seeing it through a different lens and like being able to appreciate it, something yeah. that I don't often do. Really? You don't often shop in the men's section? You've just blown my mind! It was really great to like come together and just like yep. get to experience clothes as clothes which is right. what they should be to begin exactly. with what they should be to begin with that is what they are to begin with that's all they are you dickhead i don't know how many times you've been disappointed by your socks not transforming into a working replica of the titanic just what the fuck did you think clothes were 
It's all about really what you feel is right for you and what you like to wear. And I think kind of seeing that with you was just an extraordinary experience. Don't fucking encourage him, Doreen. That ego does not need any more feeding. Let's take a quick look back at the beginning of the video for a second. Here we go. It's this really interesting dynamic, right, of walking into a store that says women, men, and children. And I'm not a child, I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, so where do I go? We know exactly where you went, Shanene! Straight to the fucking women's section! Look at you! And Doreen rocked right over to the men's section for a fucking tie clip! There's no non-binary section because of two reasons. Number one, you non-binary fuck-ups dress as the opposite gender. You just haven't realized it yet. And number two, there's no such thing as non-binary as demonstrated by your cross-dressing. It's either one or the other, and this video shows you know this. Check fucking mate. Thanks for watching, guys. Special shout out to my lovely patrons. And remember, man as maketh man, and clothing doesn't maketh man a woman.